Welcome to Victory Achieved Gaming. This is Owen, also known as Immortalium. And I have Caitlin, I'm waiting. <laughs> as always. Yeah. And we are back for another Steam review guessing. Now, yeah. last time I actually did very well. No, you did thankfully. well after the many, many failures. Yeah, so had. just to summarize, the first one I got 7.5 out of 10. Second one I got 7 out of 10. Third one. Not like 3? It was 4 out of 9. Okay. And then last time I actually got 9 out of 10. Now, I would love to get 10 out of 10, but I think I might be hoping for too much here, so... We will see. We will see. So first up, anyway, what is my first? Okay, so this is from iPad Pro 64.23 with... And then something else. And something else. And, what, and they have a picture of Stitch in my glasses. <laughs> um, they recommended this game. But only 0.5 hours. Yeah, so they said it's also posted the 30th of June. So I'm guessing that was this year. Mm -hmm. Why can't I beat this game? Because the duck's on quack. I mean, that's a good joke. Uh... <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't even think I'm going to know this game. Um, I think you probably should, but... Oh, really? Um, well, it's not that you haven't played it, but you know the franchise. Um, oh. So I do like that not only did two people find this funny, but also two people found it helpful. <laughs> How helpful is that review? Because sometimes funny reviews are helpful. Or just, you just like to say they're helpful because you find it funny. Um, like I said, I, I just recently said that I started playing a game because of a review that just said 30% Oh of yeah, yeah, because that was a funny one. lesbian. And yeah, I like, that's uh, just to give context because they might not have seen the Ori episode. Oh yeah. Um, that's that. Little Goody Two Shoes, I believe it was yeah. called, from Square Enix. Yeah. The Collective, specifically. It's really good. So, I better stop stalling here. I believe that this is DuckTales Remastered. DuckTales! Wait, the Disney show? Yeah, DuckTales oh, Remastered. Oh, okay, I, I, I feel bad because I watched all of DuckTales. Yeah, I know, you're a DuckTales fan. Wait, where is... Uh, the colour is the A there. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm gone blind. It's fine. Um, but I was like, like, sure, you haven't played the game, but I was like, you know DuckTales, so... I do know DuckTales, but I just didn't think of the game. Yeah, that's fine. That's a tough game, actually. The last level in yeah, particular, I found really Disney hard. games are tough, aren't they? Some of them. A lot of the classic ones, yeah. yeah. This one is from L. Um, I can't pronounce that. I think it's Elon B. Uh, Elon B. Okay. They recommend this game. They have many, many hours on record of oh it. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, a cool game. It has bosses. My favorite boss in the game is Botanic Panic. Botanic Panic. So. I just botanic panic. I know which game this is, but holy moly, that playtime! Over eighteen hundred hours. Yeah, he really likes the game. Maybe he like streams it or speedruns it or something. Maybe. But um, botanic panic. That's a classic. Um, I think that's the very first boss of the game. Actually, that's like the easiest one. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> actually, maybe that's why. Maybe that's part of the joke. He's yeah, eighteen hundred hours, and his favorite boss is the first and easiest one. Um, Botanic Panic. I'm pretty sure that's from Cuphead. Cuphead. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Cuphead. Eighteen hundred hours. He really likes. He must be streaming it. Is my only guess. Or like speedrunning it or something. Yeah. I know it's it's hard to see sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, like, that is remarkable. Okay, now on to this one. Do you this... think, with this before we go on, do you think you've played any game for over 1800 hours in total? I don't think so. I think my... I've played a game for over 100 hours, definitely, like RPG stuff. i played loads of games over 100 hours. That's not the same yeah. as 1800. That's true. I think the only game... Besides, actually, maybe World of Warcraft originally. I see, I never got into World of Warcraft. But um, I think Overwatch, I think I have like over 2,000 hours in that. Oh, okay. See, those games I don't count because they are games that you just constantly play and it's actually a group. So I think like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, I would even can put in there. Um, Overwatch, even Fortnite, I wouldn't count yeah. those because, you're gonna have, of course, you're going to have insane. Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, the MMO. you're going to have, of course you're going to have the same play times in those kind of games, because you're supposed to. It's games like Cuphead, <laughs> where it's like, are you not sick of playing Cuphead? Because I saw a review uh, from, uh, definitely check them out, uh, oh, shoot, I wish I remembered their names, it's like, is he Spads or something? There's a good Steam review guessing video, folks, 
and one of the reviews is for a Spyro Reignited trilogy, mm -hmm. and it's over 2,000 hours. Mm. <laughs> that face you made! That's a lot. Of How do you get 2,000 hours out of it? Anyway, sorry, we should probably continue he on. He really likes the dragons, I don't know. This person also recommended it. It's from someone called Pix. Mm -hmm. um, they have 23 hours on record, but 19 hours um, of review time. So they came time. back to put in a couple of hours. Yeah. One day I'll return with a full review of this game. But for now, I'll say this. Uh, it's probably my favorite game ever. Thank you for reducing it to me, Dad. Manny is peak skeleton. I love him. Oh, I think I, I think I. Wait, no, it's not on the list, is it? No, I don't know what this is then. Oh, well, I have my guess already, oh, so I want to hear. This is the twelfth of July. So this is also this. So, year. I mean, before I say, because I think I know which game this is, just by that name alone, do you know which game this is? No, wait. It's only the games on the list, is it? Come on, give me. Oh, the skeleton. Is it down the the the? the I know it's the. It's like point and click game again. Mm -hmm. And it's Caesar Skeleton, but I can't remember the name of the game, but I am, um, it's Is like, that the original game you're thinking of? I think so. Or, sorry, our friend played it before. And uh, I, I might censor that if I have to, yeah, or I cut think it our, out. Yeah, our friend played it, remember? And I yeah. watched a bit of it, but like... It's, uh, it, it's Grim Fandango. Grim Fandango. Wait, was that... You, That's were you saying thinking. that you didn't think it was on the list? Uh, yeah, or? it is on the list. It, it is on the list. It is on the it's list. It's pretty hard. Yeah, so I, okay, yeah, even though I didn't say it, I, I was like, I was like going like Randango or something, I was going, like, I was kind of <laughs> dancing around the, whatever the name was. It can be somewhat hard to remember if, uh... Okay, oh, first unrecommended game. Uh, this person oh, no. is from Nash. Oh, no. It's 16 hours, um, and they posted it back in 2021. Had to decide if I was going to press yes or no, here's the deal. Game is fun, but the co-op experience is very annoying. Not helping, really frustrating. Uh, throw your computer out the window angry. Lovely maps and dungeons, but if a player dies in the dungeon, whole party has to leave the dungeon and do it all over again. Stardew Valley. <laughs> your ongoing joke. Uh, so, you know, I don't no. know if you heard me when you started reading this out, I went, oh no. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? You know what it is or you don't know. We've had this review before, in a previous video. Oh, did we? We did. Oh no, we messed up. Or your parents messed up. Yeah. Okay. So cool. oh, that's why I was kind of curious of like, do you actually know the answer? So you actually remember. had this review before. Okay, you have a way better memory than me. Well, I have to edit them. That helps. That's true. Who was so, it then? So, this is Ashen. Oh, do I have to give? Does this count as giving it to you, or I, like put it in a? Different I think box? this is cheating if we count it. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. It'd be unfair for me to like. Yeah. I mean, maybe some people could go, oh, you remembered it, but like, I don't know. I don't think it's fair. Okay, we're going to ignore that one. So, uh, next one is recommended, 35.7 hours at once. Who makes candy that screams for dear life when you're about to grab it? This is also from Godo... I can't... Jandu? Jandu? Jandu, yeah, that's an exclamation mark. I couldn't, I couldn't tell if it was an exclamation mark from what I'm sitting. 35.7 hours. Okay. My candy. Oh boy, this is actually a tough one. So, I feel like this might be a platformer. Uh, I'm trying to remember which platformer has candy that you collect. And that screams. See, my gun with has candy, but I don't get screams. Which one? My gun with had a little candy you picked up. No, but it doesn't scream. No, 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 no. I don't think it's Mighty Gunfold. Oh boy. Um, I'm just racking my head now for the platformers. So, oh wait. Do you pick up candy and demon turf? You might actually. That would make sense with the screaming aesthetic. Okay, I'm gonna have to guess demon turf um, because I I can't remember any other candy. Moment of fruit. Yes, it is. I actually don't remember them screaming, but I guess they did. Maybe they did. <laughs> I think I might know, I was slightly looked at this review when we were doing it, the one underneath, so I could see it. I think I know this one myself, but this it's... is recommended. It's by Scooter. Oh no. Is this another one that we've had before? Yeah. Oh, sugar. But is it Ori in the Black Forest? No. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, okay. Okay, we'll put this in blue then. Wait, 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 wait. Read it out. Uh, this game combines the speedrunning of Super Meat Boy, 
The jumpy shooty springy parts of Syria Sam, the dignity of both and the aesthetics of Katamiya. Don't let the cuteness fool you. This game is tough. Also, soundtrack is amazing. Sorry, folks. Uh, this... Maybe before we do this, you should quickly look and then delete once. Well, it's, it's hard to look at it and not like... Think about the answer. It's true. Yeah. Um, but this is a lovely planet. Ah, sorry, this is not a good one. Uh. Hopefully people still like it. There's still a few that I've gotten that aren't repeats. Um, seven people found this. This is recommended. It's from Ya Ka Wang. I don't know. Ya Ka Wang. Okay, they, this view is old, 2017. This game that started the FMF gimmick and is really uh, revolutionized arcade games forever. A fun game with beautiful animation and unforgettable stages. So, I mean, okay, the first off, eight hours. Um, mm. And then secondly, so I think I know which game this is. I'm hoping that this person, because one thing that is worrying me a bit is they misspelled revolution. Nice. So, like, um, yeah, but I don't want to judge that because I can't spell you there. I get you, and I would have spelled it the same way. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm dyslexic. I would spell it the same way. Okay, so hopefully this person is knows what they're talking about. So, do you remember what an FMV is? No. So, it stands for Full Motion Video. Okay. And what Full Motion Video is, it's pre-recorded footage for a game. So, like, if, for instance, if you think of Final Fantasy, any of those big CG cutscenes oh, yeah. are FMVs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just going to say cutscenes, but okay. Well, you see, cutscenes can also be in-game. Like, That's true. So, th there is a difference. So, but the thing is, okay, so also people associate when some games, particularly back in the day, would have live action cutscenes mm -hmm. and then regular gameplay, and that would also be FMVs. But this one uh, is animated. And I think if they're correct, if they're talking about the game that started it and revolutionized arcade games forever, it won't be Space Ace, it'll be Dragon's Lair. Yay! Just the first one. Okay, good. Now, I'm very disappointed to tell you this, Caitlin, but the next one is also a repeat. Is it? Okay. So, this smooth remaster, great looks. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this one. So, yeah. so. Uh, it's, um. Wait. A lot of fun for three or four hours. Uh, read out the whole thing anyway. Oh, yeah. just a solid fun. smooth remaster of Great Lucas Art Classic. A lot of fun for three to four hours. Fairly easy adventure game. None of the puzzles are that frustrating. Only the uh, bike combat took a little while to figure out. But worth it for sure. Do you remember what this is? It wasn't Simon Max, no? No. That I can't remember, no. So this is actually a game called Full Throttle. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what's happening here, huh? Oh, you missed out the E, just to tell yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. That's an enjoyable game, but I mean the fact that. Oh, I wonder will people hate this video because of how many repeats we're getting. Yeah, it's fine. Right, okay, this is also recommended. It is from. Um, piano grinder. Oh, piano grinder. Good collection, but how come they don't have Symphonia of the Night in the collection, or sold as a separate game on Steam? Two point five hours. First off. Completely agree with him. Symphony in the Night should be on Steam. It's a crime that it isn't. Um, secondly, we have a problem here because there's two potential games. Although, actually, wait, no. So, folks, just to let you know that this stuff was actually picked out a while ago. So, actually, it couldn't be the second one because I only did that recently. Okay. The first one, this is Castlevania Anniversary Collection. You see, I'm playing the Advanced Collection, and I got the first game done recently, so I put it on the list. So I was like, oh, is this, a, is this possibly the second Castlevania one? And then I was like, wait, it couldn't be. Okay. So anyway, this is the last... Um... Okay. This is also recommended. It is from... Gaia... Gia... Gaia Razus. Razus, okay. Uh, the story is plain but good things are cre and creative idea but climate change, challenging puzzles and good graphics and game. This game is good, just give it a try. Yeah, so, okay, the climate change thing is a big... <laughs> oh, so this big... game, this review is back in 2014. Yeah, old enough. And 8.5 hours on record, which lines up with what I'm thinking, you see. Because think about it now. How many games deal with climate change? Not many. Not many, no. 
I know so Final Fantasy 15 time change, I'm pretty sure. I think it rained at times. But the, it rained at certain points, I'm pretty sure. If I was, if you never Just regular it, raining? Like rain and thunder and stuff like that, like I think. Okay, but that's not quite... I would have mm. thought if you were going to go with any of them, it was going to be Final Fantasy 7 because oh, yeah. of the fact that they're hurting the planet with the extracting the Mako and everything. That is true. Um, so... Oh, I thought it meant when I thought that when they made climate change, I assumed they meant when the wet, when the weather just changes. No, the they're on the case. no. <laughs> what they mean is like global warming oh. and stuff. Oh yeah, five months seven. Then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but in general, then okay. So now that you got that, can you think of many games that deal with that? Lovely planet. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely planet does not deal with climate change. I, I can guarantee sure. you. Um, Octodad. Octodad. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, that was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, fair. What do you think? Although I do like you clarified in case anyone thought, did you really say after that? I'm sorry, I really didn't think. I'm probably really stupid right now, and I probably no, it's know it's nothing. It's nothing to do with stupidity. The, to be honest, this game, it's not unknown, but it's also not particularly famous either. So I'm sure. Okay. Now, the thing is, there's a big long title because this is like a, a second edition re-release on steam okay i'm just gonna give what the actual game's called and if it's like director's cut or something mm. afterwards then um i believe it's called a new beginning it is yeah, new beginning. oh they just put in a new beginning they didn't bother with the director's cut or whatever it is handy no, no not blue, blue. <laughs> that's my fault green okay so that's that, the last one that's the last, last one. one so how many were we? P3? Three? three of them? Okay, uh, okay, so that's one, two, three, because Ashen was the first one. Wait, did I get any of them wrong? No. Oh, actually, yeah, that was uh, the Ashton from the other one. It was, yeah. God, right after. So, okay, so in got... that case, did I get seven out of seven? I, I'll go to say seven out of seven because of the repeats, yeah. I Yay. guess, I, I mean, it's not, it's not ten out of ten, but it's... <laughs> It's the closest. All of them. It's the closest I've gotten to it. Um, I think there was some genuine stuff, generous stuff. The forty nine would definitely have been much harder if the second Castlevania collection had been there. But it was a bit disappointing that there were three repeats, and I'll have to talk to them a bit about that. But okay. Before that, though, you know, I'm pretty pleased with my performance. Yay! Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, despite the fact that we've got repeats from previous videos. Um, we have done the honourable thing, we haven't counted them, this is 7 out of 7, not 10 out of 10. So... Which is still all! <laughs> which is still all, yeah, but it's not as impressive. No. It, like, think about it, if you got 1 out of 1 right, or you got 10 out of 10 right, or you got 100 out of 100 right... I'm which, not sitting here calling would, out 100 reviews to you. No, Go but, on. but like, which is the more impressive is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, that would be more impressive. So... Anyway, but the point is, you know, I did the best with what I could. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed our banter anyway. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. Also watch some of our longer videos as well of gameplay, uh, which are all games that are from the list uh, that you can access in the description below. Um, so with all that said, uh, th thanks for watching. This is Owen, also known as Immortalium. And Caitlin. And bye-bye.